I started at the school in year 2000 and we very much thought that um, we were at not only the end of an era but at the beginning of a new era um, because while we were there um, so many um, new teachers came in but so many teachers that had been there for, for many years also also left. I remember going to the open night when I was in P7 and seeing a lot of the teachers who had taught my parents and it was the obvious choice really for, for me to aspire to, to get there. Carrick Fergus, it's on, on the westerly part of the United Kingdom and it's right on the edge of Europe. Therefore it was essential that uh, our pupils could think globally. So we had to equip them uh, to play on an equal playing field with students from Europe and beyond. And so began a period of looking for international links with pupils who attended a youth parliament in Sweden and opportunities for all departments to participate in a European project. I joined Carrick Fergus Grammar School in 2002 and it was great to wake up every day knowing that you were going to experience a diverse education, that you were going to build friendships that would last a lifetime and that you were going to take part in fantastic activities from rugby to football to the choirs and orchestras and you were going to develop life skills that would stick with you forever. I tend to see opportunities and dive straight in. I did this on one occasion knowing my VPs were unsure whether the school was ready for the initiative. So on a wet, cold Friday afternoon and after school the two doors to my office opened and in came Kieran and Ozzy. A pincer movement. We need to talk. We talked, we discussed, they won, and I, they were right. During my time at Carrick Grammar, I made lots of good friends, whether it be from people who I was at primary school with right the way through then, or just new friendships that were made at the grammar. It didn't matter whether you'd been together in first year and then progressed through, or we had a couple of people who joined our class, our music class especially, in sixth year and some of the crazy times you had together then, fond memories of orchestra practice after school. I think it was because you were together so often doing music things that you had this bond anyway and being brass players we all like to outdo the strings at every orchestra rehearsal. One of the most respected teachers was undoubtedly Stephen Cook and um, it was a real pleasure to have him as a, as a head of year. Um, one fond memory of mine, or many fond memories, would be of his uh, assemblies um, when he usually would have put them in a historical context and told us about some sort of inspirational figure and those were always very uplifting. To some people Mr Linus was just a music teacher but really he should have been head of business studies because secretly he ran his on the side tuck shop where he used to be in competition with the main tuck shop and he would undercut their prices so he used to go to Mr Linus's tuck shop instead of going to the main tuck shop. Money is always in short supply and so it was in the noughties. And as a school, we could no longer rely on the Department of Education and the Northeastern Education and Library Board for all our resources. So we actively sought funds from other sources. We successfully acquired funds from Europe on at least three occasions, allowing us to equip classrooms, create a new cricket pitch, improve our ICT provision, and help pay for more adequate social and learning environments. I got a feeling. We also successfully applied to the Department of Education to become one of a number of specialist schools. Our specialism was science and that allowed us to employ more science staff, closer links with the primary schools and also gave the existing staff time uh, to spend on staff development. Coming up to the present day, of saying what, what are the differences between me coming in 1973 and never I'm not talking about educational differences I like to think the school is pretty much in its essence the same it sort of seemed to me that over the years whatever staff were uh, 
employed in the school and the pupils from wherever they came from it they always seem whether it's the building whether it's whatever the the, the um, formula is for that it always seems to have worked over the decades and kept that lovely feeling in the school i was very enthusiastic about joining the music society and carrot grammar the year i joined as i progressed up the school i became more and more involved in the music department and we went on loads of trips to different parts of Europe and England through the choir and I really enjoyed being part of the school musical in my final year, Wonderful Town, in which I was able to play one of the lead roles with um, some of my best friends. One of my fondest memories from my time at the school was being part of the school shows, in particular Wonderful Town. We spent months learning lines, rehearsing songs and on the night it can go all different. <laughs> in particular you could end up improvising with Sarah Nelson on stage. But on the end of the day, you just have to say, I'll sort it out. Just as it was important to develop those international links, you have to make sure that your links at home are strong. We now work very closely sharing resources, expertise and pupils with Carrick Fergus College, Downshire Community and Unity Integrated. Kieran Mulvena, I think why he is such a great principal as well is that he came in 1985. So he grew up in the school as a junior teacher and then as a head of department and a head of year. He, he was then a head of boys school um, for discipline and pastoral care and then taking over from the pastoral vice principal um, for 10 years. So he really embedded himself into the practice of the school. I think he, he's a very strong presence in the school before he became principal. And I think that has um, the sort of way that he ha went about un uh, understanding um, people and practicing um, the pastoral work, I think has made him um, the principal that he is, which is one with the open door policy. He knew the way the school ran, he knew what he wanted to do with it, and it's been safe in his hands, and I'm sure will be in the future. It's really thanks to the staff at Carrick Grammar that I'm in the profession that I am today. I am now teaching in primary school, and I was really seeing their love of teaching and inspiring me so much that I then wanted to become a teacher myself. Come on!